Hello, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here. Another great job interviewing tip for you. How do you stay humble during the interview? The importance of humility during that all important meeting with the hiring manager. I want to talk about that for just a second, give you a, a few tips. You know, I've seen people blow this many, many times. They get in the interview and they just come across too cocky, too, you know, too big of an ego, overconfident. And, and really, that's just such a turnoff, right? Especially when you talk about the chemistry and fit with the culture and all of those things. I want to give you a few tips here because it's important, right? You're trying to sell yourself. You're, you're trying to highlight your accomplishments and everything that you've done with your career. How do you, you know, balancing all that and staying humble, it's, it's a tough job. And so here's what I'd suggest. Number one. Just watch how many times you use the word I instead of we as you present all the things you've done in your career, meaning pull your former team members into it. You know, we accomplished, me and my team accomplished, uh, et cetera. Make sure that it's about the groups you worked with. Even if you were the leader, make sure you're giving other people, you know, praise and recognition for some of those accomplishments. And make sure you're not making it sound like you did it all by yourself. I think that's number one. That's my first tip. Second, make sure that the conversation is a, is a two-way conversation. In other words, make sure you're listening carefully and also asking questions back to the interviewer and drawing them into the conversation and making it a little bit about them. Ask about their life, maybe compliment them because you looked them up on LinkedIn ahead of time and and, and tell them, hey, wow, I noticed you looked, you worked at XYZ company before this and, and you were a VP over there and you accomplished some great things, et cetera. Compliment them, draw them into the conversation, maybe ask them a few questions about what they had done previously, maybe ask them some questions about how long they've been with the company, et cetera. In other words, make it a little bit about them and a little bit about the company and not just all about you. I think that will also help. Third, you know, your body language. Just just watch how you're sitting, whether or not you're crossing your arms, whether or not you're pointing your finger, etc. Be careful with your body language. Make sure it doesn't come across as too aggressive or too cocky. Smile a lot, I think, would be my next tip. And make sure that you, you show that you are really engaged and in, in listening to what they're telling you instead of just focusing on what you're going to say next about yourself. I think that's a that's a big big key. And I think those are just a few things. If you if you just do those things during your interview, I think you'll have a much much better chance of of selling yourself without coming across uh as too cocky or overconfident or having too big of an ego that might scare a lot of people off. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. As always folks, you can call in and email us with questions. We'll help you in any way we can. Visit riderflex.com to learn more about us. Thanks a lot for listening and have a great day.